My name is Jenna Lines and I'm an environmental modeller. What that really means is that I look at the effects of electricity generation on the environment and I do that mainly by using software programs so I spend most of my day sitting in front of a computer. One of the things that I enjoy is that we work on a lot of different projects. The advantage of that is if you're on a project that you don't like it doesn't it doesn't last forever. Um, I suppose the disadvantage is if you're in something that you really like that doesn't last forever either but there's a lot of variety. This is clearly a brick on a piece of string. I don't want you to think that this is what I do every day in my job because it's not. When I'm doing a preliminary assessment, I might need to know how deep a river is. And one way you can do that is to dangle a brick on a piece of string over a bridge and count the number of markers that, <laughs> that went underwater until the brick hits the bottom and then that's an estimate of the depth of the river. The thing that's had the biggest impact on my life is having a child because I now work three days a week, not five days a week. I think being a mother changes a lot of things because uh, your child is the most important thing and you have to be there. I'm the main carer, so I have to be there for my child. I prefer to stay in the office now more. If there are options of going out on trips, I'm probably less likely to want to do that now if it means they might get back late. So yeah, definitely some things have changed. And I'm there three days a week, not five days a week. And that has some influence on what projects I can work on. Well, I was at school quite a long time ago, so I did O-levels. Um, um, and then I did A-levels. I did maths, physics and chemistry. So I was sort of heavily biased towards the sciences and, and maths. I knew I wanted to go to university to do a scientific subject. And I chose, I chose physics. And then by the time I was coming to the end of university, I wanted to go out and get a job at that point. Uh, partly because I wanted to earn some money. I didn't really have a plan of what I wanted to do. I just went to the university career service and that's how I ended up working for E.ON or whatever the company was called sort of 18 years ago. I travelled sort of after university before starting work as many people do. Um, I had a round the world ticket but I spent most of my time in Australia. It was just an opportunity to take a long period of time off. I mean you can go to Australia for four weeks if you use up all your annual leave in one go but it's not the same as going there for six months or, or a year. I ended up with a job offer out there so I did have the option of, of staying out there but I actually chose to come back and one, one of the reasons is that you are very far away from your family. It was about 10 years ago I spent about four months working in Brazil. We were uh, part of the electricity industry in Brazil was being privatised and we were looking at buying into part of it. I'd probably say my first week in Brazil was probably one of the worst weeks of my life actually. But um, by the end of it I really enjoyed the experience. I think it taught me the difference between quality of life and standard of living because you're living in a very nice hotel. Um, and you're eating very nice food, you're eating in restaurants every evening. But your quality of life was actually quite low because you're actually spending most of your time working and you're away from all your friends and the things that you normally have around you. I don't feel that my parents pushed me in any way at all really. I think they just let me, they let me do my own thing. But with hindsight they were probably quite lucky in some ways because I, I, I worked very hard at school and I was quite dedicated so they never had to tell me to do my homework. I'm quite happy with the job that I'm doing, so I'm not intending to apply for any other jobs or, or, move, or move elsewhere. Um, but I do work for a big company. Changes and reorganisations do happen, so I'm not naive enough to think that I'll be sitting at the same desk doing exactly the same job in 10 years' time, because it's probably not that likely.